Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back with another Age of Empires 4 video. Today, we are gonna take a look at the campaign. Uh, the campaign uh, is actually really cool um, and has lots of history integrated into it. It's one of the things that I really liked about the early, the Age of Empires series. Um, even the Age of Mythology, right? There was just so much uh, actual history or actual mythology from the Greeks and Romans and others. Um, and it, you know this is no disappointment in that regard you'll see uh, that there's a, just a tremendous amount of um, history put into this and uh, we'll get started with the conquest uh, at the battle of hastings in 1066 and you'll see what i'm talking about here Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England, and his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown so he raced to fight them in france william waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to england the weather cleared he seized his chance Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. So that was pretty cool, and it's almost as if you get to play a History Channel uh, episode. And, um, you know, it's going to take us through the Battle of Hastings. We're not going to be allowed to do anything that was historically inaccurate. Um, so, you know, that's a little bit different uh, than a lot of games, but you'll uh, still hopefully enjoy it. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. All right, so we're set to attack Harold's army. We don't control all of our own army. You'll see um, that as events proceeded historically, different troops will come into play. Um, but for the troops that we do control, we'll rush them towards the center here, and you'll see 
Additional troops will come under our control here. William's Norman army made the first <clears throat> charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Let's see. William will proceed up and down the line trying to find a, a point, a weak spot that we could break through. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. All right, so we have to <clears throat> we have to feign the retreat. Lure the Anglo-Saxons into a false sense of victory, <clears throat> causing them to break formation. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. All right, so let's attempt to crush these guys. <clears throat> Maybe we can surround some of them. And eliminate them. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. We're going to stay focused on the shield wall here. Just work through these guys. Let's do an attack move to here. We'll be more likely to surround them if we do that rather than try to micromanage them. Let's see, they're flanking over here. The Anglo Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders. But William had an answer his sharp eyed archers. Let's get these guys away from them. Men-at-arms reinforced William's army. Yeah, so we got to try to keep the men-at-arms focused up here, where really the archers can pick them off. William got injured, but he'll, we can actually leave him there. We'll get to him in a minute. Let's move towards him. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. All right, so this is going to let our William's forces cavalry to come into play. Spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Keep these guys in the fight. Attacking their spearmen. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's right. cavalry so is now to charge at the Anglo Saxon. We're going to take marches. these archers out. Let's keep our guys in the fight. All 
So let's just work our way through these archers. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Let's just go straight for the king. The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Some reinforcements not to forget about. Let's just bring them right up here. Do an attack move to here. See so if we can target William directly. And that's it. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. All right, and that's going to do it. You can see there that uh, we got to see how the Battle of Hastings took place. Uh, really got to visualize it, you know, there on the ground um, and play through as things really happened. Uh, we unlock some additional content and progress towards the next level, which is all cool. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed that and that look at the uh, first uh, episode of the campaign. And if you did, please leave a like for the video. It tells me that you want to see more of these. And if you do want to be notified uh, as more um, videos come out uh, regarding Age of Empires 4 or any of the other games that I make videos for, please do consider subscribing. Appreciate you all watching. As always, thank you very much, and I'll see you back here soon.